Hi folks, uh, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, it is Wednesday, the 15th of July. Uh, it's about 10 to 7 in the evening. Um, I did film this video earlier, but the lighting was, was making me like ghostly white, so I thought I'd film again now. So the lighting might not be as good for these things here. Did a bit of shopping. Anyway, I've got some stuff to show you, and I've actually made something since I filmed earlier, so I thought I might as well show you that. So I'll show you my finishes first. I finished the Granny Ripple blanket I was working on. Let's have a look. This was using Stylecraft Candy Swirls. I think it was strawberry taffy colour. And it's just the... Yeah, Granny Ripple. I'll link it below. I think I linked it in my last video. So it's a good... We'll be getting up for five feet. <laughs> I think five metres. No, it's not five metres. Five feet tall-ish. Um, and about three, four foot wide, maybe. Try and get it. This poor, de uh, poor dining table has got everything on it. Got a computer and all sorts. So, yep, yeah, that's how wide it is. I used four cakes of the candy swirl. That was a gift from Pearl, so thank you, Pearl, for sending that to me. Uh, please excuse my hair. But it needs cutting. I'm not I'm not cutting it short again, but it needs trimming. There's all this at the back. It's... <laughs> I'm not really going anywhere other than the shops, So and I'll be wearing a mask. Well, I have been wearing a mask when I go to the shop, but I've ordered fabric one and I'm making some so it gets really bad maybe people won't know it's me um, I decided uh, to I'd made Jack's teacher a present already um, but I just made um, I'd have made a one of Valerie's chubby bunnies but then I thought in relation to what I'd made for Tobin's teacher the present I made for Jack's teacher wasn't as big or perhaps as themed as Tobin's teacher's was, um, or is, I've made her the Day of the Dead, like ragdoll, um, because their class is Mexico. So Jack's class is Canada, I decided to make mousse. This is the mousse by Spinner Yarn Crochet, same designer that did the Day of the Dead doll. I made the Dumbledore, uh, excuse me, I believe she did the Loot Crate Llama. Uh, I think that's one of our only paid for patterns is the llama uh, from Fortnite, which I made a few of. Um, but yeah, this one was free. Uh, the pad's so clever. So clever. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I don't really enjoy all the colour changes. That was a bit of a beast. And sewing these, like the ear and the antler together. But I think it's a, it turned out really cute. And I think uh, Jack's teacher will like it. Uh, it's got really good like details, like sort of front post, back post, there, just to you know make a ridge of the jumper and at the neck. It's really really clever. So uh, I highly recommend uh, spinning on crochet patterns. Anyway, they're great, and like I say, the majority of them are free. I, I just think it was the Luke Cray Llama. That's the only one I've seen that wasn't free. And then I watched Rel, and Rel made it, so I wanted to make it. I think this is just called the Tiny Hippo. Uh, I'll link it below. It's a free pattern. I can't remember what, whether it's... It's not all free crochet, is it? I don't know. But I'll find it and link it below. She's supposed to have eyelashes, but... Um, yeah, it was having none of it. Um, so I just stopped. I gave up. But it's just a DK. I think it's my 2.75mm. Let's give her a striper dress. Lots of ruffles. Little bow. Very really cute. So thank you for the uh, recommendation, Rel. There's a whole series, I think, of little animals, sort of this size, which I might get onto. I probably should stop making toys. I keep saying that. Guess what else I'm making? A toy. As I'm accumulating uh, bee crochetive patterns, at, at an alarming rate, she had a sale, like 40% off. So I bought this and... Is it the mice? Was it a mouse and something else? 
cheese and honey, I think. And maybe it's mouse and a bear then. Bought that, I bought this, and what else? Did I buy the mandrake? I might have bought the mandrake, because I think the boys would like that. But I've, I've already made the scarecrow and Goober the goblin. I haven't made Gatsby the gargoyle yet. I made the Day of the Dead doll. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm amassing them like I'm uh, amassed left-handed crochet patterns. Dangerous. But this is, I can't remember the flamingo's name. Terrible. Uh, these eyelashes worked okay. Really cute. This is our, um, the Armoni rolls from Lollies. This is the last of my Red Hot Super Saver in black. And I think this is Aaron. This was all in a hedgehog that I'd started making for my sister. Do you remember? A while ago I started making this hedgehog and it was supposed to have that fuzzy like teddy yarn as the um, spines, as the spikes. And could I get it the right size? And I gave up and then she didn't ask about it again. So <laughs> I left it at that. Um, so yes, I pulled out this hedgehog because I double stranded the hedgehog body and uh, it wasn't going anywhere so I pulled it all out. I've sacrificed a pair of eyes that were in it but it was more important to have the precious red heart yarn than uh, a pair of safety eyes. So She's nearly finished, I've just got to sew her legs on I think and do some a couple of strands for hair and she's done. Very cute, very cute. If only I could remember her name. She's sitting up as well, she's got pins in her legs and she's actually sitting up. Then, because I'd finished the Granny Ripple blanket, I thought, oh, I'll start another like, blanket, like a stash busting project. And it's probably going to turn out it's going to cost me money. So I don't know whether to just cut my losses now. I don't know. But I started making the blanket in this Aldi rainbow yarn in the fruit colour, which looks like this. And I'd seen Crystal from Bag of Day make this, um, it's one of her tutorials, but it's in, I think it's Kartopu, so what's that, Hobium? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Hobium yarn, or at least Turkish yarn. Um, but it's uh, a chain of odd numbers, and then you single crochet, double crochet in the same stitch and you skip one uh, along the chain single double skip single double and then in the next row along you uh, you just single double into the single crochet from the row below what's that it's not linen stitch is it no it's not because that would all... whatever stitch it is is that so it's not um it's not difficult or anything like that it is this watch looking dark blue is actually a purple it looks really nice in person it looks kind of on screen um, but it is lovely it's really pretty um, just looks a bit crazy so this is the, the the length or your starting chain is like the length of the blanket and then you work it so it would be width ways you could do you know either way whichever you prefer but that's a cake and a bit that's not big enough for anybody, is it? And even sort of double that is not going to be. It, I don't think it's even 12 inches. So a 24 inch wide blanket is not really much good for anything. And it's not particularly long enough to be a like wheelchair blanket. I don't know. Can I get it on my lap? Well, I suppose I could. Mm. So. I asked on my Facebook group and got pointed towards the UK Audi Facebook D stash group. So thank you for the, the recommendation because I didn't know it existed. Uh, I've joined and I've asked and a lady got in touch saying she'd got some but she was in hospital at the minute. So I said, oh, I hope you're, you know, nothing too serious. Um, whenever you can, you know, we'll, you know, discuss price or whatever, because it doesn't have to be, this was, I think, £4, yeah, 3 a ball. What is it? 200 grams, 350 metres, 8% acrylic, 20% wool. It's making me, like, itchy and stuff working with it. <laughs> I can't do wool, so I won't, I won't keep it for me. 
Um, but yeah, um, they can sell it at whatever price they want, within reason, I suppose. But um, you have to pay through for it through PayPal. You have to do it as a transaction, not you know, as as buying goods, not from friends or whatever. So you, they they work out what the fees will be because if you send it money as a friend with PayPal, I'm sure you all know this. Um, there's no fees, but if it's a a sale, a, you know, transaction or goods or something, there's a fee applied. So they can figure out what the fee will be and charge you extra accordingly. So they're covered uh, and the cost of the postage. So I'll see what she says. Obviously, if it gets to be, I'll probably. I said to her I'd be interested in the price of two cakes of it. But I don't particularly want to add more to... Or I shouldn't really be spending more on a project that was supposed to just clear some stash, not cost me money. And it's not for anybody, it's not with anyone in mind that I couldn't make something else. So, I don't want to cut my losses now and tell them not to worry or just see what the price is and if it, see if it's reasonable. I just don't want to mess her around. So that's that. Um, I'll link to Crystal's tutorial video below. The yarn she uses is really pretty, it's like yellow shades or, or variegated yellow, it's really pretty. And uh, as face masks will become compulsory in shops as of, I believe, the 24th of July, which is next Friday, something like that, uh, I thought I'd make We'll have a go at making some masks. I've got uh, one each for me, Tobin and Jack, on order from Etsy. Um, but I think they're being made so that they should be here in time for when it comes into force. But, you know, just so we've got extras and the disposable ones we had uh, are running out. So I, I've been wearing them to the shops already because so, people just don't listen and don't stay away from me. So <laughs> everyone should stay away from me. So I've just whipped this up. This is using Himalaya denim. It is a oh no, it's 100% cotton. Carol sent this to me ages ago. Hi Carol. It was Carol's birthday the other day. Happy birthday, Carol. Carol is Casino No on Instagram and has spoiled me rotten. And I've made stuff for her grandkids and stuff. And I like to try and spoil her and her uh, grand grandbabies as much as I can because lovely. I've not spoken to you for a while, I need to sort that out, don't I? Um, so I used a 3mm hook and a pattern on, like a video on Facebook, which I will link below. And I need to line it, so I bought, um, it's okay, it's adjustable, so I made it earlier. <laughs> the problem with having several earrings and having studs is they get stuck. Uh, I made it earlier and stopped listening to the pattern because I thought, oh, it's the right size. I don't really want adjustable ears. Yeah, I should have listened because, well, I missed out the bit where you do some decreases around here so it sits better on your nose. And then rather than just chaining your ear straps, you, you make a chain but separately and then you crochet it in and it means you can cinch the sides up because I, I was finding it was quite baggy at the side so you can sort of adjust it so that it sits tighter on your ears should you want it to and then just ties obviously I'll figure out I'll get rid of these and then I bought um, some pillowcases I went to uh, Asda for bread earlier because that that's like how glamorous my life is sometimes I go to Tesco for bread I've been to Audi twice I've been to Lidl once I drove all the way to Chilwell just to go to Lidl because I wanted to go to the bakery bit. Bought myself a brownie. Um, I did buy other things. I didn't just drive all that way for a brownie. But it was I was quite happy I'd got one. Um, so yes, I went to Asda and I got two black pillowcases so I can cut them for a liner holder so I can put a pouch in. And then... I've read a couple of things on what you can use for liners and it's like coffee filters. We don't have them because we don't have a coffee machine or anything. But someone said you can just use kitchen towel because it's, you know, 
it's an extra layer it's absorbent of moisture and stuff and for the amount of time i'm going to be out and about a you know double folded sheet of itchy nose kitchen towel will hopefully be enough and like i said i've got other ones coming it's just to have a bit of extra a bit of extra protection so that is that i whip that up earlier didn't take very long so i'll tweak that and get the lining sewn into it and then i bought you after dinner until Jack dubs me in, of course. Um, but I, as I used the last of my black Red Heart Super Saver, I wanted some more. So Lolly's very dutifully reminded me on Monday, I think, that um, the Armoni rolls, the Armoni Aran that was on sale, was that sale was ending. And I thought, oh, I can't miss out, can I? So I bought black. They were £2.50 instead of £2.95. And as you sort of get in the equivalent, oops, yardage and weight, yarn weight wise, as um, Red Heart Super Saver, and it's £2.50 instead of it was five, uh, £5 a ball on more warehouse when they used to do it. They don't do it anymore, do they? It's all, it's all gone. I, I, I don't know if that's part of them being taken over by yarn inspirations or what but it's gone so got black I got this called deep copper deep copper deep rust no deep copper it's very nice it's, cool. it's darker than that and it's shown on the screen I got a navy tweed which is darker than it's shown on the screen it's pretty uh, I want to make a uh, could make uh, I've got a pattern for the chunky moles that I've had for ages and the left handed crochet crochet critters I think they were in a similar sort of style of yarn and the bit looked really nice so I might use it for that then I've got a project in mind for Tobin for his birthday uh, if I can keep it out of his sight his birthday's not till the end of September but we're kind of getting ahead with ideas for him and then he mentioned this the other day and I thought ooh and I was ordering yarn so you know any excuse it's for his birthday Paul I have to buy it um, he likes he's watching a Rick and Morty with his dad so he's obsessed with it and um, he wants Mr Meeseeks so Meeseeks is turquoise with this is really it's not that orange it's it's called red orange this isn't it it's called turquoise um, he's got kind of ready orange hair and his body and everything else is turquoise so I've got those and then this last one it's called Elsie I think they had lots of they had pictures of lots of different variegated like this kind of style uh, there's one called Fizz and Pop and oh they were gorgeous but they were out of stock so this is the only one they got, I think it was like a Betsy that was out of stock, and Marnie or something like that, that was beautiful. Marnie? Martha. Oh, there were some really, really beautiful ones, but they're all out of stock, so I've missed the boat on that one. But yeah, I got that one as well. So, those six, I ordered it Monday, it came today. Um, I think it was 4 95 delivery, because it was over a certain weight or whatever. But it actually came with DPD, I didn't know they were uh, using DPD, I think. When I used, previously it used to be Hermes, and then I'm sure she shifted to Royal Mail, but whether she'd had problems with them, I'm not sure. So she's gone to DPD, but then they got broken into Tuesday morning, yesterday morning. She put a post up saying that they'd been broken into uh, again, at the bricks and mortar shop, and that it would delay orders coming out, and I thought, well, that's fine. But then I got an email probably like an hour later to say my order was on the way out. I'd ordered it Monday night dispatch Tuesday morning despite all that because they couldn't get into the shop until police had been and given them an incident number they couldn't go in and touch anything you know and they got all that done and got it out and it came to me around this afternoon and I got an email this morning saying it'll be here with it you know between half one and half two and your driver is called you know this or whatever so fantastic I can't I can't fault the service I love the yarn I could have spent more. I did have more in the in the cart, but I took it out. Anyway, 
that's everything I've got to show you. My battery's going to die, so I'll leave it here. I hope everybody's safe and well and all this stuff that's going on. I hope you've been as safe as you can. Um, yeah, I'm going to go before it cuts me off. So take care and I'll speak to you soon.